Okay, so now we have the F prime, the limit definition of the derivative, which is this formula slash function. Let's use it to calculate the derivative of our function x squared. So here we go. So our function f of x is x squared. And the way we use it is the following. We write f prime of x is going to equal first our limit as delta x approaches zero. Then it says f of x plus delta x. And literally what we do is we substitute in x plus delta x into the function, which gives us x plus delta x quantity squared minus f of x, which is just the normal function, x squared, all over delta x. At this point, technically your calculus is almost done. Now we have to unpack this stuff using some basic algebra principles on FOIL. So if we FOIL out this first term, we end up getting the following. x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x quantity squared minus x squared all over delta x. Do not forget to bring back or bring down your limit as delta x goes to zero. So now let's do some cleanup. I have an x squared here. I have a negative x squared. Good night. Have a nice day. I'm left with 2x delta x plus delta x squared all over delta x. So let's rewrite that. 2x delta x plus delta x quantity squared all over delta x. We can do a little cancellation between these terms. I kill this delta x with delta x and it also kills one delta x right here. I still have to do my limit and then we're just about done. So I'm left with 2x plus delta x. If I take the limit as delta x goes to zero, this goes to zero and I'm left with 2x. Therefore, my derivative of x squared is gonna be f prime is equal to 2x. And that is the derivative of x squared using the limit definition of the derivative. Now let's evaluate that at a particular point and find the instantaneous rate of change. So I'll, let's do it at when x is equal to two, what is the instantaneous rate of change of that point? Well, we just evaluate the derivative at that point. F prime evaluated at x equals two is equal to two times two for x is equal to four. So our F prime of two is equal to four. And this tells us once again, at x equals two, the rate of change is equal to four. Now this is just in general between the f of x and the x coordinate. But if you wanted to have a practical application of this, you could think of this as, let's say, a velocity. If it was position per time, or if you were changing velocity per time, that would be acceleration. Derivatives end up changing us, or derivatives end up telling us rates of change for all different kinds of uh, quantities in the universe, in our world, in nature, and they're a very vital, important part to finding mathematical descriptions of our world and universe. Thank you very much, and that was the derivative calculated at x equals 2. Thank you very much for watching Caffey Calculations, and I hope to see you very soon in our new episodes. And remember, enjoy the process.